hopefully this video works. The last one I made, all the audio was distorted, and that is annoying, even more annoying than me speaking only into your left ear. Anyhow, um, I have some MIDI data, and what I'm going to show you how to do is use contact at its very mo at its most basic level in order to um, yeah make some music basically. So just starting at this very first track, uh, and the things we need to pay attention to are uh, the instrument column, the I/O column. For the I/O column, it's going to be very similar to how we use battery to route the outputs of individual drums to the inputs of corresponding tracks, so that we can process them separately. Same idea. This new instrument, it's multi-channel, so these are all stereo tracks. Multi-channel instrument, and these are instrument tracks. Uh, contact. That's what we're going to be talking about and learning. So as soon as I plug that in and watch the spinning wheel, I get my color and my track. But really, I can press play. I have no sound. Um, there are no sounds in contact right now. So when you open up contact, what you see here is this blank space, which is essentially a rack, meaning um, you're going to get an instrument here, an instrument here, instrument here. The way that I understand it is that contact is a very processor intensive um, instrument. And what you don't want to do is insert contact on each track because you can have upwards of 16 instruments, um, at least in terms of MIDI channels. And we'll talk about that in a second. Um, right now, what we have is 12 stereo outputs built in to contact that can be customized but we're just that's how we're working uh, on the libraries tab you'll see all of these different uh, sounds or instruments in and of themselves the giant for example if I click on instruments you see there's two choices I double click on the giant and it is a piano instrument it's kind of an upright sounds kind of funky play on the preview stuff on the keyboard here and you can just click the X in the upper right hand corner and get rid of it uh, drum lab is is drums okay um, but for now I'm just going to uh, insert let's see I'm gonna do a vintage keys type of thing all right so under Vintage Keys, I'm opening it up, and this is the top level where you have some different folders. Within each of those folders, um, I'm going to go into the Mark 1, which is a Fender Rhodes. I'm going to double click, and then you have a variety of presets. When you see the kind of keyboard icon, you're down at the bottom layer level of that hierarchy. If I double click on Blue Ballad, I get this instrument, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Now, if I want to listen to uh, the Funky Rio, for example, what I don't want to do is simply double click on it or else I'm going to get a separate instrument and I'm still listening to this one for reasons that will become clear in a minute. If I want to get to Funky Rio, what I want to do is come up to this uh, left and right arrow and to the right, I go to the dinner four by two and then here's Funky Rio. Okay, on the road mess with these things you know there's reverb built in uh, you can click on the back of it and get to a whole bunch of other stuff but uh, by clicking on the wrench I'm not going to get into that okay what I do want you to pay attention to is where it says output here stereo one where it says MIDI channel a1 and then in the instrument column where we inserted contact you'll see contact MIDI in number one. Now if I just roll over this, what you're going to see is that this is called the MIDI output selector. And what that means, is, again clear in a moment, is that's kind of the communication pathway with this, with the instrument. So this data is communicating on MIDI channel one, and because this instrument is set to MIDI channel one, we can hear it. If I came in here and said go to MIDI channel two, it's gone. All right, we don't have anything. So I'll just put that back to one. All right, so if 
for the synth track, what I'm not going to do is insert another contact. We're going to use it like we used battery. But this time the difference is we do have different data on the tracks, so we need to set up MIDI channels to communicate with the instruments that we want to hear and then tell the outputs of those instruments to connect to the inputs of the corresponding tracks. So let me start by thinking about what I want my synth to be. I'm going to come down to the retro machines and okay, if I just go into the very first analog machines, I will choose a pad of some kind and see what that sounds like. All right. So far, I haven't gotten this to light up, so something's not right with my um, connection. So first of all, I look over here and I see MIDI channel A2. And I come over to the synth MIDI channel and I got nothing. So I got to go to none, click on the contact. And if I had different, if I did have multiple contacts and, you know, 12 instruments or more, I might have a different uh, two contacts. This one's called keys because the host track is called keys. I'm going to choose MIDI channel 2. All right, so you can hear it, but if you notice, I don't have anything on the VUs of the synth track. That's because everything is routed to contact stereo 1 output, which by default is the host track. All right, so you don't see anything on the input track channel. Uh, if I come over here to the straight pad output and change that to stereo output 2, and then now I'm not going to hear anything. I got to then tell contact or Pro Tools, I should say, in its input I.O. to look for plug in contact stereo 2. All right, now. Um, more or less, what we're going to do is we're going to set up four tracks, and each of them is going to have uh, matching output and MIDI channel numbers. It's a basic way of working. You don't have to work that way, but it's logical. And there are times you might say, hey, I'd like to actually have this instrument communicate with this instrument, or this data communicate with this instrument, and you can change it around. But until you're comfortable, I would just keep it logical and sequential. All right, so... Um, I do want to say about, you know, when you see knobs, turn them and see what happens. having fun. All right, so I want to minimize these by clicking the uh, minus sign. They're not gone. They're just smaller. All right, so for the base, I'm going to go actually into the factory library. The factory library has pretty much just everything. Um, and I'm going to go into the band category, into the bass category. Here we have the presets. I'll just choose the, the classic bass. Let me look at it by opening it up. And I want to change my output to match the MIDI channel. In contact, every subsequent instrument um, sets the MIDI channel. Um, but again, I need to come over to my output selector, MIDI output selector, change it to three, change the input to plug in stereo three. It's very realistic sounding. I mean, it's, I mean these are samples. And really quickly, let me go into drum lab and all of these things. I could spend, you know, half an hour just talking about drum lab. It's kind of a cool little instrument, kind of. Um, it's not my go-to by any means, but you can, um, there's acoustic and electronic versions of the sounds and you can kind of blend them. Uh, let's see. Oh, if you don't see the output selector, you got to come up to the eye here. I hadn't changed the output. So just listen to that kick drum. Okay, so as you bring this down between acoustic and electric, you get more of the electric sound. So you're able to kind of mix 
you can click here and here kind of have all that kind of stuff all right don't judge the sounds please actually i gotta change that snare slightly or a lot all right doesn't matter uh, okay, so we have drums, bass, synth, and keys. So once again, you have a series of instruments hosted essentially in a rack of one contact instance. We are using MIDI channels to communicate with the chosen instruments. Um, and we are routing the outputs of each of these to the inputs of their corresponding tracks. And hopefully you'll have fun. <laughs>